Cox Health is a uh, community-based uh, healthcare system in southwest Missouri, um, spanning uh, multiple localities, including Springfield, Branson, Monette, and uh, Lamar, Missouri. Our radiology departments serve both inpatient and outpatient settings. Our driving factor for us going towards the VNA was really a, our separation between cardiology and radiology. Um, our radiology across the system was all on the same platform, but the cardiology solution was all on different platforms. So we wanted to try to eliminate the silos because we had multiple and try to get it all into a single solution. And you know, with the VNA, uh, we were able to take what we already had and with a minimal amount of work and investment trying to, you know, get them all under a single entity. When it came to looking at, you know, what VNA, how do we want to proceed with this, you know, we've been a longtime sector customer for many years, very, very, very happy with the product. Our physicians are very happy with the product. And with what sector was able to offer us to V enable our existing packs, um, like I said, it just made sense. We were able, to, we didn't have to re-migrate all of our radiology imaging, which was a lot. You know, Cox Health is a large organization, as Matt kind of alluded to, so we have a lot of images. So able to turn our system into a VNA without actually having to do a migration of the existing data um, that was in that PAX, it was, it was a win. One important aspect with the VNA project was keeping in mind those priorities related to our Cerner EMR and how pivotal that integration was to, to maintain physician access. Our end goal here is to make it as simple for the physicians and end users as possible. So, you know, we want them to be able to log into their EMR, which is where they're spending most of their time, and they go into a radiology result, they click a button, it launches the images, and it doesn't, it doesn't matter to them. They don't see what's happening behind the scenes. It's all transparent. You know, it's all, it's all I, I click, I see what I want to see. The most important factor that was looked at throughout the planning stages was, you know, a patient-centric, community-minded approach to how images are accessed and care is streamlined. So now that we have all that cardiology imaging feeding into our VNA, we can leverage what we already have in place for electronic transfers for the cardiology uh, department just the same. So it's, you know, it's just more continuity and we can, I mean, we can transfer data, uh, transfer images for referring physicians much faster than we were in the past. I, I, I would add to that by saying, I feel this project is proof that this can be done. I feel in general the, the the common statements that are made is we're unable to collaborate, we're unable to break through those barriers. What we've accomplished so far, you know, between Cox Health and Sectra has has shown that that, that value really can be found and and access can be can be improved. We worked with the vendor of our cardiology solution and we worked with uh, Sectra to kind of map that. And then we started up a migration of saying, so let's start sending these exams over. We'll check the data. If it looks good, then let's really get it, you know, let's really get it running. So we started that back in, we started the testing really back in January. Uh, we really got the migration really up and running late February, first part of March. Um, Right now we're trying to migrate all the echoes out of an existing solution and then once we're done with that um, we're going to go to where they have all their cath lab images stored and get all those migrated into the VNA. One of the other benefits that we were able to do with VNA is to really um, save on storage uh, because w in, within the silos we had some some, I would say, uncompressed studies and some poorly compressed studies. So as we migrated those in, we used that as an opportunity to, you know, compress really well and utilize JPEG 2000, which a lot of it had not been. Um, so we, I mean, some of it we were able to see the size, storage size cut within, you know, down to a fifth of what it was being stored at. As we have progressed through the VNA project and looked at opportunities to rethink the way we are utilizing our storage. I 
think that will provide an opportunity to be better stewards when it comes to storage expenses, and, and that's where the return on investment really will be realized. One example of where this impact may actually be realized is moving from what is currently 60 terabytes of cardiology data down to 11 or 12 terabytes. I think the VNA project is going to be something that is continues to grow. Um, I, I would describe our current state as as kind of you know taking that first step along a path of expanding access, consistent access to imaging of various types. And you know I think through that we're we're probably going to have you know certainly more timely, accurate care, um, and you know hopefully overall kind of reducing expenses as well. Radiology and cardiology is, you know, that has been the focus, that has been the driver, um, specifically cardiology, getting it integrated in um, and removing that silo. But, you know, we want to look towards the future as well. So, you know, is there any other opportunities for other ologies to be brought into our VNA? And, you know, maybe it's, that's digital pathology in three to five years. So, you know, we'll, we'll see what, what comes. I've been a PACS administrator for several years, and I've, I've been an admin for a couple different solutions. Um, I can say without, without a doubt this sector is probably one of the best companies I've worked with um, it, from all spectrums. Uh, but, uh, you know, the ter technology, they're definitely forward thinking. They seem to have a, for an answer for all the, for the, this is where I'm having trouble with um, from a technical perspective, from a clinician perspective. We've been a customer for so long, but they've really come alongside of us the whole way. So, you know, when I think about service, to me, it's not just the help desk. It's what, what are we going to do going forward? You know, how do we plan for our future? Because, I mean, everything is we're planning out. So Sector has been alongside us each step of the way, you know, say, you know, here's where you guys are. Here's where, you know, how we got to where we are. You know, what's on the roadmap for the future? When I think of Sectra and service, I think of the relationships that our teams have built with the Sectra team members and working to address current state challenges as well as forecasting those opportunities going forward. Yeah, it's a partnership, you know. Yeah. It's 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 a partnership as you're trying to move forward because, you know, you you can't eat the whole elephant in one bite. You know, you're going to have to take little bits at a time, and pretty soon you'll be able to to chew a little bit more because you've got the experience. But, you know, you got to start somewhere.